quiz channel is very popular all over the world. There are so many quiz channels on YouTube that are making substantial money. You can also make this kind of quiz channel. And in today's video, I will share the method of making quiz videos with ChatGPT and Canva. So, without further ado, let's dive in. First, we will generate some quizzes with correct answers with ChatGPT. I am giving a prompt as imagine you are a teacher and you teach general knowledge I would like to prepare a set of 30 questions in a tabular format with two incorrect answers and a correct one. Mix the answers to be anywhere between A, B and C. Then I added some instructions about the quiz table. I will put the prompt in the description box. You can see ChatGPT gives us a set of 30 quizzes in a table. And give the correct answer at the bottom of the table. Now we will make a video with these quizzes. For making the video, I will use Canva. If you are new to Canva, create an account with your Google or email account. Canva offers a 30-day free trial for all. After creating an account, select a bulk video from here. This is the Canva editor page. First of all, we need a background video for our video. You can use any kind of video or image. I will use a spiral video as my background because it creates a good impact in this kind of video. Come to the Element tab and search for Spiral Background. After that come to the Video tab and then select your desired background video. You can notice that our background video's length is around 30 seconds. But I will make every quiz length only 15 seconds. So, I will decrease the background video length to 15 seconds. Now I will add quiz elements to my video. First, click on the Text tab and add a heading on the video. I will replace the text with, choose the right answer after that customize the text font, size, and color. Always select a bold font. Like Futura, Montserrat Classic, or Code. I will use Futura. I will change the text color to white. You can add some effects to make the text more stunning. After all is set, I will change the position of this heading. Place this line in the top and center of the video. Now make a copy of this text. After that go back to ChatGPT and copy the first quiz question and then replace the text with the question. This is our first question and we have another 29 questions. I will add a number before every question. Come to the Element tab and then select the shape. Now add a circle to your video. Customize the color and then place it before the question. Now add a text box and replace it with one. After that place the number in the middle of the circle. Adjust the size and color to make it perfect. Alright, our question is ready. Now we will add our answers to the video. Before that, we will create the answer box. To do this come to the shapes in the element tab again. Add a rectangle shape. I will change the color of the shape to white. Now change the shape and make it like a perfect answer box. After that change the positions of the box. Put the box left side of the video and just under the questions. Then make a copy of the question number circle and adjust the position with the answer box like me. Now select both of them by pressing the shift key from your keyboard. After that, make two copies and then adjust the positions in an ascending order. Now add A, B, and C as the answer option in the center of the circle. After that, go back to chat GPT and copy the answer, then paste them into the answer box in ascending order. Alright, our question and answer is ready. Now I will add a timer in my video. Come to the element section again and search for countdown timer 5 seconds, you will find a vast number of timers in different formats. You can use a progress bar also. I will use this one. But there is a problem, I want just 5 seconds of this timer, but it's 15 seconds longer. So, I will reduce the length by clipping it. Click on here to do this. Now adjust the length, then hit the done button. After that, I will add a circle frame to make it a perfect timer. After adding a circle frame bring the timer video into the circle, then adjust the position. Ok, our timer is ready. Now I will add a rectangle frame in the video. I want to add an image on related questions to make the video visually interesting. After inserting a rectangle frame, search for a question-related image, and then insert an image into the frame. Alright, now it's looking perfect. Now we have to add another answer box. 
I will just copy one of the answer boxes and then change the color to green. Put the box in a free space of the video. Alright friends, now we will add animation to our video, before that I will create some groups to make things easier. First, select every element from the first answer. You can select it by pressing the shift key from your keyboard. After selecting all the elements, click on the group from here. Do this with two other answer options. Do it with the question number also. Now select all of the elements except the green box and the timer, then click on the animation from here. Now add an animation. I will suggest using fade animation. After that, select the timer and the green box and then add pop animation on them. Now the most important part of the video. I will adjust the animation timing. First, the question, select the question and the question number, and then click on the three dot menu. Now click on show timing. You will notice a timeline here. I want the question will appear after half a second of starting the video. I will adjust the starting point to 0.5 seconds. Then he first answers. I will adjust the starting point at 1 second. In this way set answers 2 and 3 in 1.5 and 2 seconds. Then the timer. Set the timer starting point after the third question appears. We need to adjust the end point of the timer also. Set the end point 5 seconds after starting the timer. After adjusting the timer length select the green box. The green box will appear after the end of the timer. Set the green box starting position after the end of the timer. Alright, our animation timing is completed, now we will add some audio effects to our video. First, play the video and pause it just before the question appears. Now come to the element section and then search for cork. Now come to the audio tab. Here you will find a vast number of audio effects. First, listen to some audio and then, select the perfect one for your video. After adding a sound effect for the question, add another sound effect for the answers. After that, come to the starting point of the timer, and then search for the timer in the element search bar. Again come to the audio tab and then select a perfect sound effect for your timer. Now the green box. For the green box, I will add a logo ascend sound effects in the same way. <laughs> After all is set, select all the elements from the video and then delete them. Don't worry we will bring them back. After deleting the elements, download the video with only the background and the sound effects. Ok, our video background has been downloaded with sound effects, now click on the undo button from here. All of our elements will be back. Now upload the background video on Canva and then insert it into the video. After that delete the sound effects. That's perfect. Now we need to download the question related images. Come to the element sections again and search for the second question related image. You will find a vast number of images here. Select one of them, then click on the three dot menu and select add to folder. Now create a new folder and save the image in the newly created folder. In this way save images for all of the questions. For tutorial purposes, I will save only 15 images. After saving an image for every question, come to the left tools panel and click on the apps tab. Now find the bulk creator and then select enter data manually. After coming to this page, scroll down and then clear all the previous data. Now go back to ChatGPT and copy the table data and then paste them into Canva. There is a blank column. I will delete it. Now add an image column by clicking here. After that, click on the plus button from the image column. You will find the folder you created some time ago. Select the related image of the first question. In this way add an image in every column. After doing this click on the done button from here. Now we have to connect data. First, select the question number and click on the three dot menu. Now click on the connect data from here and then select the number. After that come to the question and connect it with the question. 
In this way, connect all the elements with their related data source. After all is set, click on the Continue button from here. You will see a preview here. If all is right, click on Generate Pages. Now Canva will generate 16 pages for us. And here it is. All of our questions are now ready as a video. Now we have to customize just one thing. We will place the green box under the right answer. For the first question, the right answer is option A and drag the green box over option A. If the green box is over the text or any other element, you can send it back by pressing the control plus second bracket from your keyboard. Do this for all the pages. After all is set, you can add a transition between the pages. All right, our customization is completed. Now click on the share button and then select download to download the video on your device. And our quiz video has been downloaded. Let's enjoy the quiz. In this method, you can create unlimited quiz videos with ChatGPT and Canva. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating animation from images with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!